Hi, this is Reasons Are Several, a weekly podcast where one guy relentlessly guilt trips another guy for his own pleasure. My name is Matt. With me is Neil. Wow. Hi. Wow. W- <laughs> okay, hold on a second. Anything I said, was it untrue? When? <laughs> Ever. Yes. <laughs> About you or your brother or your father? Yes. You are painting a bad picture. For anybody who would like to know, Neil has another show. It's my other podcast. It's called Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks. You should go check it out. Mm -hmm. It's with his wife, Annalise. And on that show, uh, you guys are so kind as to, usually because Annalise remembers, to pimp this show, which is always very much appreciated. Mm -hmm. But it always leads to some sort of, you know, side... Out, out the side of your mouth remark from you. And it's fine. Oh, no. It's straight from the front of my face. There's no out the side. <laughs> straight from the heart. <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about? And lately, there's been a lot, a lot of digs. But that's okay. It's the way it is. Well, like I said, is anything I'm saying false? It is misleading the way you're presenting the information about my care for my father. Right. Because you're claiming that I don't go see him. Not answering the question (laughs) it's not true there's your answer it's not true correct you are saying things that are not true you are slandering me name one thing he doesn't go check on his dad that is not true well i didn't say you never (laughs) i said when we're recording you don't (laughs) right (laughs) how is your dad doing i i like that you start with how this is affecting you but not an update on your dad should i be starting every podcast with an update on my dad before you start talking about how hurt you are because you're being slandered because you're somebody is pointing out that you don't check on your dad, I'm going to go with yes. Technically, I didn't say I'm hurt. I just said this is a show where every week a guy guilt trips <laughs> the other guy. That's all I said. <laughs> you so uh, Technically, I could have been talking about me guilt tripping you. You just have a guilty conscience. Or I just, I don't think that's it. <laughs> so how is your, I see how you're still going to talk about you. How is your dad doing? My dad is doing pretty well. He's, uh, is, he's, is he still in the facility? He is still in the facility. He is due out this Friday. Um, so that's good. So he'll be coming home. But uh, we had some appointments that we took him to this week, which were kind of funny. Well, mm-hmm. took him to the doctor and, you know, his cardiologist and stuff and kind of went through all that, all that stuff and everything, you know, was looking good. And they just kind of talked about, you know, his schedule and rehab and mm-hmm. all those kinds of things. Then we had to go to the bank. Oh. And I think I mentioned this to you maybe off the show. This is right up your alley. Right. Finance guy. Finance guy. We went to the bank and we were helped by this nice Get young Get your man. name on the account. I got you. I got you. Hey, yeah, yeah, easy. You're the one. You're the one that has your name on all your parents' accounts. That's true. I'm not going to deny that. So anyway, uh, this nice young man helped us. His name was Stuart. And I think, I th- I think it was Stuart's like third day. Oh, Stuart was Stu. real nervous. Real green, huh? Very green. I mean, he had all the knowledge was there. He could tell you anything you want to know about every process, et cetera. But just his his um, his bedside manner was a little rough. He would nice. just he would just say like he would say no problem even when it didn't really warrant that being said. You know, like you would just nice. say something non you know whatever, just make some comment. And he'd be like, no problem. Like okay, well I didn't think there would be a problem, Stuart. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Are you saying there was a problem? <laughs> You'd like Stuart, what could be wrong right now? <laughs> right, you tell me. And um and he was having a real hard time pronouncing our last name, which is understandable. A lot of people have that. So right. he would just kind of mumble it. Hey, Mr. Okay. Yeah. So I pronounce it two different ways. Yeah. There's many ways you could do it, but yeah. it's he he was struggling with that. I probably should have just corrected him. But then he was trying to get these packets that you get when you yeah. get a checking account. And so right. he would go get the packet and it's in plastic and he comes back and he opens it up and he starts to take the thing out and he goes, Oh, um, hold on. I got to go get another one of these. Like, okay. Puts it down, walks away, comes back, new packet, opens it up. Uh, I'll be right back. (laughs) (laughs) Goes and gets another one. Yeah. (laughs) Comes back and we're like, I wanted to stop and go stew. You yeah. sure this what is, is the one? Because on? you're blowing yeah. through these things right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. These are not cheap. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want something bad to happen to you your first week, Stu, because you seem yeah. like a nice young man. But anyway, he helped us. He got us all, you know, all the stuff worked out. But it's funny because as we're sitting there, I hear another banker dealing with this mm-hmm. woman who's probably 
I'm guessing in her maybe late 20s is a guess. Mid to late right. 20s would probably be about right. And I can't help but sit here and just eavesdrop on what's going on because Stuart is taking a long time to get his stuff sorted out as he keeps <laughs> ripping open bag he's after doing, bag. He's doing the bag. best he can. but He's doing the best he can. And so uh, this woman, I hear her over there going, well, I just want to clear this up because I was getting charged $65 a month and now it's $90 a month. And the guy's like, well, yes. Yeah, so with credit cards, he's having to explain to her how like credit cards work. Oh, wow. And he's like, if the more balance you use, the more they're going to charge you every month. So you, and she's like, well, first of all, she said, I don't even know how much money's in my account. I just don't pay attention to any of that. I have no idea what, like how much money there is. He's like, well, here's your balance. And she goes, yeah, I, I don't even know if that's the right. Amount. I don't even know that's normal. I'm like you have no idea how much <laughs> fucking money roughly you have in your account. Yeah. Yeah. Second, you don't understand how credit cards work. I wanted to go over there and be like, welcome to planet earth. Do you need help right. with anything else? So she gets into this whole thing and he's like, she's like, well, I haven't used that card in months. And he goes, and she said, I think in like four months. And he goes, well, okay. <laughs> I know where it's going. He goes, yeah. here's a charge in December. So that's fine. Even though we're, we were still in March at that point. Right. Here's a charge in January for $450. Oh, here's a charge in February. I don't, that's not, I don't know what that charge is. He's like, well, if you would like to contest uh, that is a fraudulent charge. We could certainly do. I mean, he is having to walk her through right. every step of the way. Oh. It was so frustrating to listen to. So I was trying to figure out who's more frustrated us dealing with poor Stuart, trying to get our work done or the banker right. dealing with that woman, not knowing what the fuck, how money works. I think the banker dealing with the woman, because you guys are like, you got it. So you're like, okay, Stu's doing his best. Right. It would be nice to get in and out a little faster, but we've all been there. To, it's something, whether it's, First day on a job, trying to learn how to freaking post a podcast for the first time. You know, of I mean, course. we've all been there with something. Mm -hmm. The the person who is using something and not knowing how it's work when it's affecting her financial well being. Yeah. To a banker, probably like, okay, this is this is not even cute. Because see, I'm one of those guys. You're not going to believe this. I'm one of those okay. guys who I used to keep my checkbook updated. Now I just use it as like in an Excel sheet. Many right. people don't do that. They just have a rough idea of how much money they have. They got a bunch of auto payments going, so they don't have to really keep track because they kind of know. Right. And that's fine. I do both. Yeah. So that's fine. Mm -hmm. But not having any fucking clue. Like when she, sure. he's like, hey, you have like $2,800 in your account. She's like, I, I don't know. I don't even know if that's normal. Like, what do you mean you don't know if that's normal? And how old? She said she was about 20? I think she's more like, I think she's more like maybe mid to late 20s. So I, I don't think she was like, this is her first account or anything. I, I mean, I wonder. I wonder if she got married young and like hubby always takes care of the finances. And it was just like, she's like, I don't know. I mean, she did say uh, she's got all of her stuff set up for auto pay. So, okay, that's fine. You don't have to pay as close yeah. attention, but still you would have a rough. I Do you know how much money you make? <laughs> you know, <laughs> maybe she's trust fund kid. Maybe. I don't know. It just was very yeah. confusing. And, and I just felt bad for this guy. Cause she was just, I don't know. She was just a nightmare. Anyway, <laughs> I don't even know if I charge that. Okay. <laughs> right. Uh, I have something real funny before you move on. Yes. This is kind of relevant. So I sent you a text saying, I'm home all is well. Mm -hmm. That was supposed to go to Annalise. Uh, well, I just thought you were just letting me know. <laughs> just letting you know. That everything's good. Yeah. Because then I, I noticed she just texted me and I'm like, that is so weird. The text I sent her. And then when you when you responded uh, heading down now, I thought that was her at work saying like, I'm about to leave. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Oh but I'm God. like, why would she put heading down? Like, Okay, let me give she, you a tip. She works in the basement. Let me give you a tip. It's very confusing when you have two contacts in your phone, one that says my love and one that says my lover, because then you're going to confuse the true. two over and over and over again. It's true. Did I ever tell you that I'm in my wife's phone as my lover? Oh, <laughs> that's smart. <laughs> that's smart. It's probably very embarrassing for her when she's sitting there like in a work setting and it's like, uh, your lover's calling. Does, does Matt know? <laughs> yeah. But anyway, long story short, my dad, mm -hmm. my dad is is doing well. Like I said, he's he's due to come out um, on Friday, and my brother will be out here Wednesday. So, oh, so you don't even have to pick him up. You got brother to take well, care. We'll of both that. pick him up because we got to get him. Oh, you know. oh, you're gonna go. <laughs> I wish people could have seen that. <laughs> just the head nod. Just God damn Well, it. I mean, he's 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 a condom away from happiness, right, Neil? Right. Direct quote. <laughs> That's Trick. right. <laughs> Who do, what did I say that about? I don't even remember. You that were line. saying there was a reference to him have my dad having two sons, and you said, "Yeah, he's one con oh, away from happiness." Right. I said that. Yeah, you did. That's See, a, here we go again. That's a good Who, line. Me? 
<laughs> oh no! Did I'm I proud do of that? myself. I'm I'm proud of myself for coming up with that's a <laughs> that's a solid line. Oh man! Wow. man. Uh, back to your podcast really quickly. I just wanted to say congratulations yeah. to you and Annalise for your first live YouTube streamed show. Yes, I didn't know that was it coming. Was... All of a sudden, I saw it on my little mm-hmm. phone, and and I was very excited to see that you were coming. We weren't <laughs> on your phone. <laughs> on my phone. <laughs> so we weren't planning it. Um, but we decided we were talking, we're like, oh, we do a vlog. People don't know we have a vlog channel. Halos and Heathens. Called ha- Halos and Heathens. Oh, and want to say thank you to everybody who subscribed. Uh, we're almost at a thousand, and that really means a lot. And if you'd like to help us out, it would really mean a lot if you subscribe to our channel. So go to youtube.com forward slash Halos and Heathens and subscribe. And it's ne- awesome. As Neil well, says, you don't even have to watch the videos. Just you don't have to if you don't want to. Yeah. Just subscribe. That's all I'm after. They right want now. they want like Baby a steps. false like support model. Sense there. of security. Just, since That's it looks it. like they have all these supporters. Just, really just numbers. Don't. Just numbers. <laughs> um, and so one of the things, one of the vlogs we have is called Behind the Vlog, where once a month we just sit down and talk into the camera about how vlogging is going, what we think about it, and kind of like an honest, like, oh, we thought this would be easier. We thought this would be more fun or more people would watch this or whatever. Not to be confused with your Behind the Dog series. <laughs> right, which is That's totally a whole different, different channel. <laughs> Bow, wow, wow, yippee-o, yippee Um and we decided, well, it might be kind of fun to do that live once a month. And people then could ask us questions. If no one shows up, no big deal. Mm-hmm. And it's just kind of easy because you put it out there and that's it. And then I said, you know what we could do? We could actually do the podcast live since we don't edit anyway. That way I wouldn't have to edit the video. It would be up there. And if people come into the chat, great. If no one shows up, it doesn't matter because we'd be releasing it anyway. Mm-hmm. So we decided... I went and played around to see if I could get the setting so it sounded good and looked looked right because I didn't want it to sound like crap. And it worked out that we could. And we're like, yeah, let's give it a shot. And it was a lot of fun. We had a really good time with it. So that's what you mean by not having to edit. It's the video. I, I, couldn't, I, I didn't understand right. what you guys meant by that. I, I was like, what, do you have some sort of auto post feature from YouTube or some shit with your audio? I didn't understand how that worked because I'm not very smart. Right. So, so, <laughs> so what normally happens is we, we would record the video for the podcast on a GoPro. And then I'd upload it into iMovie. I would take the audio that I recorded on GarageBand and then sync it Mm -hmm. and then upload it to YouTube. So to sync it and to get it all right and clip stuff, it's not a ton of time, but at the same day, I also have to upload the podcast. I'm like, I don't want to do this. Syncing can take a little while sometimes if it's, you, you can fiddle with it a lot. Yeah, especially can with um like the way the GoPros record depending how big your memory card, it'll only record like 8.8 minutes at a time, so you have all these blocks of 8.8 minutes. Oh, and if lame. you don't see them right, then if one's off by a second, all of a sudden everything's off. So you got to go and find which one. Then it looks like so you're oh, you're overdubbed somehow. Right. Yeah. Huh. And, and so so this what the nice thing about this is because we I could still run through the board onto YouTube, thing goes up once it's done, it's done. It's out there. But a boom, but a bing, but a bang, bang. I don't have to worry about it. But a boom, but a bing, bang. Well, yeah. I thought it. I thought it went well. I was not able to to attend live, but I will mm-hmm. try to make sure that I'm there in the future, especially for nothing else to just to defend myself. But it, right, I, right. I, I thought. Uh, I mean, Annalise was great, as it, as I expected. You <laughs> little little soft you, on the edge. You were a little different. I you I almost like you were playing up to a little phony. I, um, well, <laughs> the problem I was having was Annalise kept watching her computer and not me. So I'm like, Hey, I'm here. Hello. What, what are you doing? <laughs> How about talking to me? Um, it was interesting cause we both had that little bit of nervousness and we had no idea why. Like we're like, it doesn't. Well, we were, I, I didn't feel nervous per se when we did our mm-hmm. uh, mixer thing, but there was just an added little extra element of, Oh, people are listening to this right this second. Right. So there's a right. little bit of a different feeling there. And it was really nice. I want to give a shout out to Courtney, the quad father and from shrink to shrink podcast. This is, uh, cause he pretty much ran the chat room for us. He just showed up and I just made him a moderator and he just, did. I mean, he would have done it without being a moderator. You're not going to let just me be it. a moderator. Are you? Yeah. No, we, I thought we, <laughs> um, I thought we said in the beginning said we should get Matt to do this. Do it. I'll do it when I can. Yeah. It just depends on the timing, of course, because you guys yeah. record it in consistent. That's the times. thing we're not gonna yeah, we're not gonna say it's always gonna be at this time. Yeah. So it'll just be whoever's around. Yeah. So Hopefully. unless it's one of those things that becomes like, oh, it would be good to try and always do it Saturday at three PM Pacific Standard Time. Right. And yeah. I mean we could try it on our show here. Mm-hmm. Maybe at some point we'll 
we'll we'll give that a shot. It's a little different because we record kind of, you know, at a time that's more conducive, I suppose, to people on the East Coast. Sure. Well, it's one of those things, too. If people are at work, since it's live, they could just pop it on on that's YouTube. That's true. Just stop working yeah. and just watch us. Right. The only... Uh, <laughs> then they can and, see on my Facebook Again, thoughts, thoughts and, and I don't want to say prayers, but my thoughts out to all the people at YouTube headquarters out here that are having to deal with a bunch of crap right now. So, hmm. uh, active shooter. Um, hmm. I don't know if you heard. No. Yeah, and Sam Bruno that at the YouTube headquarters. Jesus Christ, uh, really? Yeah. Like just now? Uh, yeah, started about an... Uh, well, now it's it's for those behind the curtain. It's Tuesday afternoon. It started about one thirty, I think, oh, today. Oh, man. That's terrible. Yeah, one thirty p.m. So, um, but the interesting thing for people, if we did it, was that they'd actually see a lot of the... or Because you edit the show, mm -hmm. they'd be getting the raw footage... Right, and to be fair, of the show ninety-seven or eight percent of what we record makes the show. Every now and again, I'll just like uh, I'll mute one of us because we're talking over each other sometimes or something. Or right. it, sometimes we'll have like a little cut in where I'll say like, "Hold on a second, I need to." That's it. Everything else is pretty much what we record. And sometimes we have breaks because we'll stop for a second to talk about something, which would I think would actually make for a real fun for the, for the people that show up or go to the channel to watch mm -hmm. it, it'd be like, oh my God, I, I didn't even notice they, you know, if they listen to both. Well, so it's nice I think that, it could be fun. Yeah. I think it's nice if there's something that happens outside of the, just the audio recording. Cause then it's like, mm -hmm. well, I could just wait and listen to this later. Why do I, you know? Right. So. And the cool thing is that I could do the split screen. So they'd be seeing both of us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yep. Maybe have a dog yep. cam in there too. Something like that. Oh, I'm sure. It, uh, yeah. Well, every cam in here is a freaking dog, but thank you for, <laughs> um, thank you for bringing that up. I appreciate it. It was good. Uh, speaking of YouTube, I just wanted to make a note that, you know, we, we do an automatic post. We use Libsyn to host our podcast and there's an automatic setting you can do to post your, your episode to mm -hmm. YouTube once you publish. And mm -hmm. it's just the audio. So nobody really goes and looks at it. It's just, it's basically just right. a screenshot of our logo and then just the audio. So it's, it's more just to throw it out there in case anybody wants to consume it that way. But, um, you gotta be careful with your naming because yes. We named our last episode, what was it? It was something like, it was like sex something in your dad. <laughs> right. So if you have sex in the title, it's going to yes. get some different attention than if you just have a kind of a more benign topic. Clickbait. That's yes, correct. And yeah. so either that or because it said your dad, I'm not sure. Which. <laughs> right. But we had a few comments that I thought were really interesting. I just want to share. This is on YouTube. Yes. Betty Mertz. Yeah. Oh, Betty. Sounds like an old lady. Writes, she wants to bang. Will you give it to her? <laughs> <laughs> well, Betty. <laughs> and then all of these, by the way, link to sexywho.com. Oh, nice. Mabel Lopez. I mean, they're really going for the old dame names. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Watch her live shower cam now. Okay. <sighs> I'm in. Go. For, I don't know if I want to see Mabel's live shower cam. <laughs> She's sitting in a shower chair with the yeah. detachable. <laughs> you, you're watching it and you're like, is that the facility next door to my dad's? <laughs> That's the woman. Wait, Ma is Mabel next door Mabel? to your dad? Yeah. <laughs> There's another worker in there to help her in. <laughs> yeah, holding the camera. Oh, Mabel, I, we got to hurry up. I told you I could give you Did 15 Did you give me minutes. my pills? I need my pills. I need my pills. <laughs> <laughs> it really is just this old lady taking a shower. There's nothing at all. <laughs> Sitting on her little shower chair. Uh, I can't get my back. You know? <laughs> Camera keeps fogging up. Uh, by the way, Aaron Aaron Boyd said, and this is the last one, she loves old man cock. Yay. Oh. Well, then we're in. <laughs> that happened to be tied to the sex and your dad. So you I'm combine sure. those two and you get old man cock seekers. Did you tell your dad? <laughs> I should. Hey, dad. You should. Yeah. Do you know, is there an Aaron on your floor? <laughs> next to Mabel. He's <laughs> Mabel's roommate. Mabel. <laughs> Either way, you're in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You got a shot. It's going to be shower a good time. Day shower you. time. Get in there. Oh, wait, there's somebody coming in. Like on the video. There's a guy, there's yeah. a guy walking in. <laughs> <laughs> That's you. <laughs> I'm here to see my dad. <laughs> you Mabel? And your brother. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, your dad's oh next God. door. <laughs> Quick side note. The uh, NCAA tournament wrapped up last night. And yep. I just want to congrats. So to send a congrats to you of a field mm -hmm. of 22 people you finished. Do you know? 21st. 22nd. You finished dead oh. last. So wow. good job. <laughs> now, let me ask you something about these brackets. Sure. Now, let me, this is the one thing I didn't understand about this bracket. Mm. Could I go in and change it during? No. I didn't think so. No. 
You make your picks so, and you let it lay. Let it lie. I thought I had, who did I have winning? I thought I had Villanova winning. No, you had. I picked somebody weird. I don't remember who the fuck you had. So, by the way, yours truly. Yeah. Finished twentieth. <laughs> what? We we were two of the last three. <laughs> I expect more from you. Oh man, we crushed it. <laughs> by the way, that. I think I owe somebody a T-shirt. In fact, I think there's actually two people tied for the win. So I, I might owe two T-shirts. But I just want to make a note to Fred if you're listening. They Fred. will not get their T-shirts before you get yours. I still have not got That's your right. T-shirt. And Fred, if you subscribe to Halos and Heathens, yeah, you Fred, go do that, man. Yeah. Help, help them out. Help a vlogger out. <laughs> God. So Kill I want to talk about hockey for a second. I, I was hoping you would because I, I was you, sitting here thinking I need some hockey talk. I figured you did. So the playoffs start this Friday for me. That's oh. not, that's not important. No, no, no. I want to talk I, that. <laughs> no. I want to talk about that. I yeah. don't think you do. Oh, before we move on, I don't want to interrupt your hockey talk, but this is more important. How is the washing machine? The washing machine's great. It's working well. We love nice. it. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Have you done loads of laundry? Done many, many loads of laundry. Whites and colors. They've I done... don't. I don't. I know you separate. So, <laughs> I uh, we have done all. Yes, we do. We do segregated mm-hmm. <laughs> loads mm-hmm. of washing. Separate but I'm equal. Not, I'm not as big Jerk. about that. I will do like kind of lighter colors and darker mm-hmm. colors, but mm-hmm. I don't. Do you don't... follow the? This needs to be washed in cold. This can be in warm. Why? Well, I think we wash everything in cold. Oh, one of yeah. those. Yeah. All right. All right. Sorry. Is that okay? And the vacuum? Vacuum. I'm not real thrilled with it. I might have to. We might have to do something about that. I'm not. Oh, really? It feels Tell a little rickety. It feels a little rickety. For a Dyson. Yeah, like the front kind of fa- has fallen off a couple times. You could put oh, it right back on, no. but it's no, something's wrong. I don't like it. Good. So anyway, we got a uh, a Bissell, uh, mm-hmm. the pet extra suck one because they donate money for every vacuum they sell. <laughs> they donate money to uh, to pets. Is that need. how it's marketed? Bissell yeah. extra suck. <laughs> Extra suck. And it was fairly inexpensive and works really well. And we're like, hey, if it lasts two years and we buy another one, we're good. So yeah. well, I'm going to go ahead and throw that. throw the Bissell name in the hat for you. It's called the Pet Extra Sucky. <laughs> sucky Sucky on your yeah. pet. What? So I just wanted to check in with that. It's Those things are doing fine. People Thank you for were checking into in. it. I know they were. They were yeah. really concerned about all the they appliances. Were. We still have not arranged for our, our roof replacement yet. Working on that. Yeah. So you know I'm a hockey guy. You play hockey. I do. How, and I'm also, how's the league going? The league is fine. We have not had a particularly great season, and we're playing the team that we kind of got into a little fisticuffs with at the end of our last game. So, How many how many points do you have so far this year? This year? The team? You, personally. Uh, me? Oh. Uh, I don't care about the team. There's I don't know, no I think, Matt and team. Actually, I guess there is. <laughs> but, shit. I think I have <laughs> 11 points in 10 or 11 games, so point a game. That's not bad. That's fine. It's not great. Yeah. Anyway. You're not going to get signed. No, I'm not going to get signed. Yeah. But it's funny you say that because I'm a hockey guy. I'm also a finance guy. You are 10 key to me. And I wanted, I never thought the worlds would collide, but they have. Uh-huh. And it happened in Chicago last week. So the NHL has this emergency goalie system, which is pretty hilarious. And, and it's funny because I don't think a lot of people knew about it because mm-hmm. these guys never actually play. But essentially right. what they do is every club has like a like a local call sheet of goaltenders in the area in case the home or visiting team, either one, right. loses both their goalies to injury. Because NHL teams only carry two goalies. The, you know, the third goalie typically would be like in the AHL and the minor leagues or something like that. So they're only carrying two goalies unless they do a quick call up. But right. if they get injured last – excuse me, last second or in game – then they need somebody who can step in. So they've got these dudes who like played college hockey or juniors or whatever. Right. But they're just like average Joes, you know, who have regular jobs and just, and most of the time, the 99 point whatever percent of the time, the guy comes to the arena, he brings his gear, he throws it in the locker room. He goes up and sits in some seats or in a box and watches the game, has something just to eat. Just ch- hangs out. Yeah. And nothing ever happens. Right. However, sometimes if, if some injuries occur, then mm-hmm. all of a sudden they they got to go down to the locker room and suit up. And then if another injury occurs, they actually have to go play. Right. A lot of injuries have to occur. Well, two, because you usually have two goalies. You got a goalie and a backup. Yeah, but then don't you have somebody on the team named? Because I thought they went – anyway, go on. No, I, I am, no it's typically – there's just the two. It's just the okay. two. There's a starter and a backup. Because rarely, 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 rarely would you have both goalies get hurt in the same game. Right. Except for that guy, like what they slid his throat with the skate that time. Oh, 
oh, there's a few of those injuries that are so bad where like the guy yeah. gets up skating to the bench and it's like he's got fucking waterworks coming out of his throat. Oh, yeah. it's gross. Anyway, Scott Foster, a 36 year old accountant mm-hmm. who lives near Chicago and plays in a rec league called Johnny's Ice House. <laughs> <laughs> nice. He Now, granted, this guy is like plays at the top level of that league but it's it's rec league you know right it's not right. a real league it's not a paid no. league at all it's just dudes getting together and playing but they're all probably like ex-college players and shit they're like that level they're good so he was the on-call guy last week for the game between winnipeg and, and chicago and so anton forsberg got hurt before the game and then which is the starting goalie that was a starting goalie and then colin mm-hmm. delia who's the backup who was a, who was making his nhl debut mm-hmm. his nhl debut he got hurt well cramped up in the third period, 14 minutes to go, he's got to come out. So that dude has to go in and play mm-hmm. 14 minutes of NHL hockey. <laughs> At goalie. At goalie. Because it's not a position you can just kind of skate around. You're like, nah, I'll well, be that's over here. The thing. It's not, they would never do it for regular, you know, players who skate out because they just have other guys take extra shifts. Right. I mean, but you're, you, there's nowhere to hide when you're a goalie. No, no. They're coming after you. Exactly. So now granted, they had a four goal lead, which helped. And there were only sure. 14 minutes to go, but still... Yeah. These are fucking professionals. Yeah. So he faced seven shots and stopped them all, and the crowd was chanting his name and shit. It was just, it was a pretty fucking sure. cool scene. You yeah. saw the highlights of the, yeah, yeah. Um, but his post game interview was very outstanding, and he yeah. just, it sounds like such a typical, like, just average casual hockey dude. Yeah. He's like, a few hours ago, I was sitting on my computer typing on a ten key. There oh, you go, a man. After my own heart. <laughs> he said did you see the uh an interviewer said did you see joel quenville who's the coach laughing as you got on the ice and he goes i think i would too <laughs> <laughs> I that was it's hilarious. so true yeah, and and the way and his like when he's given the interview you could tell he's excited and proud confused and shocked all at yes. the same time he's like I, I i don't even know didn't he i, I should probably say didn't he have a line about uh Oh, he said when they uh, told him to dress, he said everything he, after that, he just blacked out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I don't remember much. He goes, the last thing I remember them saying is put your helmet on. And then, mm. you know, then I'm here. <laughs> so it was all just a blur. And he was just, you know, he was just enjoying it. I mean, he even said, like, somebody asked him something about the pressure. And he's like, tomorrow I'm going to go to my back to my regular job. Like, what pressure is there on me? I have no pressure on me. It doesn't matter. You yeah, know, it was just if, for fun. It, he could have allowed 14 goals and they would have been like, they probably would have laughed. The team would have been like, well, what do we do? You <laughs> right. know? But instead, he stops all seven. He gets the first star of the night, which was nice for him. And uh, and he said, he said, you just keep grinding away in men's league, and eventually you'll get your shot. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. There are dudes, by the way, who play in men's leagues who literally like, like that's going to happen. Think they've yeah. got like scouts coming just in case. Like they might just have a shot to sneak in there. It's just it's ridiculous. But well, when you hear stories like that, and then the one that oh, I forget the guy's name. Mark Wahlberg played him. He played for the Philadelphia oh, Eagles. Oh yes, uh, Vinny you know, you, blah. Yes. Yeah, some with a P, right? Yep. And, and then pop. Poppy. Uh, anyway, and then there was that old, the old guy who started, uh, came on as a pitcher for, not the Angels. I, t- I know what you're talking about. Yeah, and it, you know, so you hear a couple stories like that here and there, and that means that ninety nine point nine, not no, that's not right. That means that s- some of these guys in the rec league all of a sudden are like, that could be me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, they all have that dream in their head, of course. Vince, pa- mm-hmm. pa- something shit. Pa- Papusa. Papaya. <laughs> Papillon. <laughs> Somebody is screaming right now listening to this. It's Vince yeah. Blah. Oh, Sorry. This, yeah. Anyway, congratulations to Scott Foster. It's a really cool story. Guaranteed Sean knows it. From uh, Yeah, Sean does. Yeah. yeah, Sean would know it for sure. Did you yeah. hear his story that Pittsburgh he shared? Pittsburgh Nerd Podcast, by the way. Should Pittsburgh Nerd. Did you hear his story about being in the waiting room? Because he was listening to me uh, talk about being yeah. in the waiting room. Yes. And he told the story about being in the waiting room. For his mother, his mother-in-law, right? And and he yeah. was and he was wait. It wasn't his mother-in-law yet. They were dating, and he was watching the Notre Dame Pittsburgh game. <laughs> and then Pittsburgh pulled the big upset, and he's going crazy. And these people in the room with them are uh, like getting all upset about about their situation. And it turns out it was family. It was other yeah. family. Yeah. <laughs> and he had to go to the funeral. <laughs> he's got. <laughs> he's he's got some. Amazing stories oh, sometimes. Man, that that was it's funny. Like, it's good shit. Anyway. Yep. Yeah. All right. So, do you want to talk some, about some NASCAR? On your beauty marks, it's time for the NASCAR Minute. I'm so, conf- so confused by my board. 
<laughs> Your board is off I'm like, today. Why is the buttons? Don't let it throw you like off. That? You're a fucking pro. Come on. Just not look at it. So, Matt, this past uh this past weekend was International Zombie Day. So they didn't <laughs> it was. they didn't play NASCAR ball. They didn't play NASCAR. <laughs> do you play NASCAR? So, yeah. Do you play NASCAR? Uh, I played NASCAR in high school. Uh, it wasn't very good, though. I did not pass along. <laughs> I, had a fi- I had a fiesta. It didn't go so well for me. <laughs> I did not pass along Happy Zombie Day to my father from you because uh, oh, he's more of a religious man. <laughs> it's all right. I don't know if he, he would knows. appreciate it. <laughs> he, he knows. Uh, so I've got no NASCAR news for you. Okay. Uh, and for my uh, beauty slash health tip. Because I have one if you don't. Well, I want to hear yours because mine is pretty lame, but at the same time, I had this whole thing planned. Mm. Go for Tomorrow, it. Tomorrow, Halos and Heathos, Heathos, <laughs> Halos Heathos. and Heathens <laughs> is dropping a vlog about a makeup haul that Annalise did. You should go and check that out. And then there's some tips for you. God, so <laughs> much self promotion. <laughs> I, I love it. <laughs> All right. What's your tip? My give me your tip. T- give me your tip. My tip is yeah. you ready? Mm-hmm. It's coming out. Guys. This oh, is for the, yeah, this is for I the know guys. you're into them. You're into them. <laughs> <laughs> Your tip is guys. Tip, I, here's my tip for guys. <laughs> guys. <laughs> guys, you need to clip your fingernails. It's yeah. fucking disgusting to watch yeah. people out in the world that just don't even bother. It's, and you they're get, dirty? Well, you get the long. dirty ones, and that's a problem. Right. But the clean ones have their own unique problem because because when they're clean, it even shows the nail even more. So they're even more pronounced that their nails are sitting there and have not been handled. Well, you know the story of why guys have long fingernails. Hmm. Because it showed that they didn't have to do manual labor back in the day. Hmm. So I didn't didn't know that one. Yeah. And it's a little bit of a cultural thing, too. Did you hear this on a history podcast? Probably. I mean, I didn't live back then. I wasn't around for the first zombie day. Oh, boy. But uh, what was the uh, was a Salty Language podcast? Mm-hmm. They mm-hmm. always post some pretty funny shit on Instagram. Mm-hmm. And they posted that one of the guy goes up to Jesus hanging on the cross. And he's like, do you have any final words? And he's like, hide the eggs. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. I never saw that one. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Anyway. <laughs> that would be good. Hold my bunny and hide the egg. <laughs> so the fingernails. So mm-hmm. I've seen this before. I've seen it with family members, with with coworkers, with, I mean, everywhere I see this. You know who had long fingernails? Stuart. Did he? He was so nervous about starting his banking career that he forgot to clip his fingernails. And I'm like, dude, you are using your finger to point to places where like my dad needs to sign something or review something. All yeah. we can see is those fingernails. That's and a it's shame. Gross. Yeah. And and I don't I'm not gonna shit on people for biting their fingernails, but don't bite your fingernails. Just fucking clip them. Yeah. Well, I think the biting thing has got really nothing to do with keeping them short. I think it's a Nervous thing. Either an oral fixation or nervous yeah, thing or just really, fixation. really hungry. <laughs> could be. I have never been a nail biter. Always been a nail clipper. Like to keep them babies manicured. Yeah. I I will do this weird thing when my nails start to get too long for me mm-hmm. where I'll like God, this could go any this could go any direction. Go ahead. I know. A little end indentation on my thumbnail with my tooth, and then I'll grind it down. So then I have like this little V in my nail. But it's very small. And then I go clip them. Usually Is that just them. your mental reminder that you need to clip your fingernails? Uh, it's something that's wrong, scrambled in my brain. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. But I like to keep my I like to keep my hands looking good. So my nails are typically at a, the proper length. Yes. Solid. Yes. Mine look pretty good. But mm-hmm. you gotta clip them. I even if you do it once a week, which is not enough, but even if you do it once a week, that that will cover pretty well the nail clipping, you know, necessity. Correct. It just makes me ill looking at guys with long fingernails. It drives me crazy. Could you say you'd be illin? I'd be illin. And I'm not talking nice. about like guys like want to grow their nails out because of like a fashion type statement and paint them and all that other stuff. If you want to do that, go for it. I'm talking just lazy right. motherfuckers who don't cut their nails. It's not the look. It's right. So you yeah. weren't talking long nails like growing them out on purpose. No, You're no, talking, no. I'm talking they're like, not long enough to be that length, but they're yeah. right. They're too short to be that length, but too long to be. It's neglect, Tidy. not it's neglect, yeah. not fashion. Yes. Yeah, it's like ear and nose hair. Get after that, man. Yeah, you definitely need to do that. I remember one time uh my brother was this is years ago, but he looked at me and goes, 
Boy, look at those nostrils. You got to do something about that. <laughs> You're like, okay, thanks. I will get the nose trimmer now. Yeah. <laughs> no hiding that when you're doing it in the house. No, no, no. <laughs> anyway, so mm-hmm. I wanted to mention okay. that there was, uh, so, so there's a guy named Brian who listens to the show. He's in Seattle. Hey, Brian. Hey, Brian. Hi, Brian. Hi, Brian. Oh, hi, Mar. Oh, hi, Brian. <laughs> He and I were twatting at each other uh, like a week or so ago, maybe two weeks ago, and we were talking about how, you know, when you looked at like old footage of college football games, for instance, in the 90s, early 90s, mid 90s. Oh, I do that a lot. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. I know you get in those Mm -hmm. loops. You look in the stands and and it's not like today. Today, there's just fucking fan gear everywhere. It's team gear Mm -hmm. everywhere, you know? Mm -hmm. And you didn't see that back then. It was like people Mm -hmm. dressed in normal clothes or almost looking like, you know, like a fucking grunge video or something. Sure. Yeah. And you'd see hats. That's about it. But most people didn't have gear or like starter jackets. (laughs) Right. (laughs) But uh, now you see it everywhere. And so he, and this led him to ask the question. I still find it weird, Matt. I find it weird to see other grown men wear other grown men's Jerseys. jerseys. Yeah. yeah. Well, I can I mean, I have, a, I have a few. I don't wear them. I have a few. But I, it just freaks me out. I don't like it. And it's the fact that they're wearing somebody else's jersey or the mm-hmm. fact that it's just any jersey? No, it's like, I really, especially freaks me out when the dude wearing the jersey is older than the guy playing the game. Does it that make it really any better or out. worse if the name is on the back? Uh, if it's a jersey for the team and it doesn't have a name, that's that's a little different for me. If it's like double zero Patriots jersey, nobody, it's nobody's number. But if it's, it's a 12 and, and it's a the, Brady on the back. Oh, God. Now, what if it's a 12 Patriots jersey and Centrongolo's on the back? No. No. That's no. That's worse, right? That's worse. When you put your that's own worse. name on it. Yeah. Okay. Own name, especially <laughs> with someone else's number. Again, double zero with Centrongolo on the back. Still lame, but not as lame as 12 with Centrongolo on the back. What if you get 69 on the back? <laughs> that's even worse. <laughs> But they okay. do. But there are six. There are sixty nine. I mean, isn't Incognito sixty nine? Incognito. Richie uh, Incognito. <laughs> he is definitely anything but incognito. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> uh, he might have been sixty nine at one point. I don't know. But yes, there are yeah. some players. But we know when people are getting right. sixty nine number what why they're getting sixty nine and then hammer in quotes. <laughs> oh man, sort of semi related. Mm-hmm, this just mm-hmm. came up from this discussion. He said, like, name some songs that you associate with teams with either with a team or like with a specific event whether that mm-hmm. be like they always play this at this event or they always, they played this in 2015 when i went to this game and now i always associate it with that event sure that kind of but, stuff it kind of covers the spectrum of because i mean you got stuff like you know like like new york new york by sinatra is associated mm-hmm. with the yankees you mm-hmm. know or mm-hmm. um what the other one i was gonna say or like last night one shining moment associated <laughs> with the ncaa tournament right. Which, by the way, I, I, I enjoy that song for what it is. Mm-hmm. However, only one, only one group of fans gets to enjoy that goddamn thing. That's Everybody right. else just gets to watch their own team fucking go out. That's just like 67 fans of teams of fans are just miserable watching that yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, that happens. On. Did you have any that yes. you... Okay, go ahead. These can be personal or like broad. Right. I don't have many. These are very personal. That's fine. Oh, boy. Should we Very set personal. the? Should, is there music we should play? Yes, we should play one play shining moment. Play some piano music. One shining moment. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna have to fucking work that in. So, <laughs> one that is played the at the end of tipped. Sorry. <laughs> every uh, Niners game is when the lights go out in the city. By that's not the full name of the song, but for uh, by Journey, when the lights yes. go down in the city. Right. So mm-hmm. as you know, it's all over and people are leaving. So every time I hear that song, I think of the Niners. Mm. The that other one is Can't Stop Believing by Journey because when the Niners don't when stop. the Giants don't stop. Sorry. When the Giants He's not saying he can't. He's saying don't, <laughs> don't stop. I can't stop believing. <laughs> I can't stop believing. I just can't stop. <laughs> Get out of my head. <laughs> um uh when the Giants were cruising for that first title, mm. that they played that all the time. It was around here all the time. So now I can't now I can't hear that song right. and stop fucking believing. Yeah. I mean, that gets used at other places too, but sure. certainly that but for I mean, me, it's, that's it's, it's like sweet Caroline and Boston. You know, they did that mm-hmm. for a long time. Sweet Caroline right. and Boston, you know, but, but of course they play sweet Caroline at a fucking million venues. It just happened to latch on with the Red Sox during their run. And then there's that, I don't know the name of the song, but it's that celebrate good times. Come on. Celebration. Another, 
Yeah. Yep. Uh, another Giants thing because they played that for freaking ever before yeah. the. And again, I should probably explain that I've seen, I don't know, probably close to a thousand Giants games and right. a few, maybe a, not a few hundred, maybe a hundred or more Niners games. But never from the stands, man. No, no, a couple times from the stands. Oh, my, I thought you were always in the field. From, no, no. When I was a getting, ready times, to ri- getting ready to rip the pitcher's man out. That's right. Um, <laughs> So those three for sure. And then another one is by um, Alter Bridge. And I think, oh, I have to look it up. I think I, I wrote it down. That. The name of the song is Metalingus. Ooh. And it's when uh, The Edge used to walk. It was his theme music in WWE. And whenever okay. I hear that song, he's all I can think. Not that they play it a lot anywhere else, but every now and then you'll catch it somewhere. And I'll like I'll, I'd look around like is he is he here is he right in? right 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 so yeah that you know where my mind went when you said the name of that song because we do talk about sex bots on here all right, the time and right. we're talking about metalingus yeah <laughs> I think oh, that's the boy. name of the song that's a good one yeah but so those would be the those would be my I, I really I, what I did with this when when you when you brought it up to me I just kind of went like what I first thought of because I figured sure. I could go back and you know right I I because. And I thought of other songs, but I'm like, well, when I hear that song, I don't think of this sport or of this game. I just know it was used in that game, but I right. still just enjoy the song. But those those four songs, I'm like, I can't, I can't yeah. hear them without freaking thinking of that f- sport. Or well, that's exactly what I was going for. Is the it immediately puts you it. in there? You meet you meet. What'd you say? Was- <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Said, wow. Ron piped himself. I'm t- uh, <laughs> He went in wrong pipe myself. <laughs> oh, that's good. See, this would be live gold. <laughs> um, I uh, don't know what I was going to say. Oh, it's I said right. I hated it. I hate it. Oh, you I hate don't know. It. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. Well, <laughs> there's some other ones of like. Well, I'm I'm actually surprised to not hear you bring up the Super Bowl shuffle and your love for the Bears. Yeah, but I see, I, don't, I, I haven't that. heard. I haven't heard the song since back then. Fortunately, <laughs> yeah, they don't repeat that one very often. No. Uh, <laughs> the another well, one of the ones I was thinking of a couple of the ones that I thought of that you hear like, and this is going to be another reference to Sean from Pittsburgh Nerd Podcast. But oh, nice. My apologies. Oh, because I'm going to say the West Virginia crowd singing "Country Roads" after they win. It's oh. pretty fucking cool. Okay. Because the whole crowd gets into it and sings it, you know, the John Denver song. But any song you have like that, if you if the crowd can hit a high note together, mm-hmm. it gets the it gets the juices flowing, gets, you know, the tingles going. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> juices flowing, tingle going. Well, to I, like play, that. You know, yeah. I like that. That might be the that title. That should be of this the podcast. name of this. Yeah, I was gonna say. But you know, they say to a place I belong. When they hit that belong, mm-hmm. everybody just fucking belts it out. It's pretty cool. Anyway. West Virginia, Matt's my mama. Oh, boy. <laughs> this took a turn. Some of the ones that are like kind of more specific to me, which, by the way, all these are very bittersweet because my team's always lose in the end, so it's mm-hmm. very sad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't bandwagon the Patriots or anything, so my teams actually lose. Right, right, right. And we used to play. <laughs> so we... my teams, <laughs> sense of pride, my teams lose. <laughs> they do. My teams fucking never win shit. I mean, I I was I've always been a Giants fan, but by the time they won those three World Series, I wasn't as into them as I was. I mean, that would have meant the world to me. Fifty <laughs> years one of those. Like, I don't like this song anymore because everybody's listening to it. <laughs> well, that happens hey, for sure. My Patriots lost everything for the longest time. For the longest time. Well, mm. and he, and recently as well. Yeah, but now it just doesn't. You're like, eh, yeah, we'll do it again care. next year. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah. no, no. Because they're looking good. Getting they're old. making some good moves. Getting old. I've, anyway. Let's hear uh, your songs. So there's this guy, this friend of mine, Brandon. We used to watch Duck Games on TV at his house a lot. Okay. He would always play another one, Bites the Dust, when they won. So that's. Oh, himself. Associate. Yeah, he would fucking fire it up on the on his kick ass stereo man and his, <laughs> <On> his tape to date <laughs> tape player. <laughs> <laughs> and so that was our way of celebrating whenever they win. There so was paint a, me this picture, man. You, it was you and him. Your girlfriend's there? No, this is all dudes. <laughs> Total sausage fest. <laughs> all right. And then but the not Ducks, that many dudes, like four or did five you, dudes. Did you guys have jerseys on? No. 
Ducks win, and then he just runs over to the he the just fucking fires system. it up, turns the hi fi on, and another. Did you guys sing along? We throw out a bunch. You of guys yelled. And, you guys must have yelled the chorus. Another uh, one bites I don't it does. think. I think we just. I think you kind of was more of a like a head nodder and a foot tapper type situation. More so. I don't, than I don't see stuff. you. I don't see you head nodding and foot tapping after the ducks win. I see well, you fired up. Pretty excited, but but by that point we've had too many beers and we're like, should we go play video poker? <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, I like it. I like the visual I'm getting. Next one I thought of was and this is a very specific game. In mm -hmm. 2007 the Ducks played at Michigan okay. and we were up at Are you going to start crying? Maybe. Okay. We were up at my buddy's cabin. Right. Um and just I think there's just four of us. And it was just, you know, kind of guys weekend. It's out in the middle. Kind oh, of so nowhere. no girls again. No girls again. Okay. All right. All and right. Uh, and they just beat the living piss out of Michigan. Uh, it oh. was like Chip Kelly's coming out party as far as his wow. offense. And Dennis Dixon was going crazy. You go, so girl. It was very fun. And so there was that song. Do you remember the song Young Folks? The one that's, that has the whistle lead in? Mm. It goes, <laughs> oh, I can't even do it. <laughs> Are you doing <laughs> I'm not laughing too much. I can't do it. Are you doing Patience? Hold on. Guns and Roses? It's not that. It's shit. Oh, yes. That one. So that uh, song always reminds me of that weekend and being there and watching them beat the living shit out of those guys and drinking a bunch of beers and thinking about going playing video poker. <laughs> and for clarification, I was saying you go girl to Chip Kelly for his coming out party. Yes, I know you were. Okay, good. I didn't, I didn't want yeah. you to think I was saying to you. I caught that. Yeah. Okay. Speaking of girl... Yeah. Did I ever make you watch the the Sup with You Girl videos? Those those dudes that were in, went to Oregon that made those mm -mm. music videos for the Ducks. No, so they they made two of them. They made one, and it was back in two. It was uh, it was the year the Ducks made the run to the Rose Bowl and lost to Ohio State. It's like two thousand nine, I think that was. Mm -hmm. And so they made this whole video. It's pretty fucking funny. So you should look that up on YouTube because okay. you're a YouTube right. guy. Right. Sup with You Girl. Sup which which you or with you which you which you with it is with I think so. Wit, right. wit, 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 sup, wit, you, girl. <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. So check that out. They also had another one the next year when right. the Ducks made the run in the national championship game and lost. Again, okay. bitter, Two. sweet moments. Lost to Auburn. Oh, a game Auburn. I paid a lot of money to attend. How much? And a lot. Over a thousand? No, but oh. not too far below that. Wow. Well, you're <laughs> a money high. guy. You're a money between, guy. Between five hundred and a thousand. We'll just Did put you that. take your lady friend? No, I went with a buddy. Wow. <laughs> I'm dudes. seeing a pattern. It's always dudes. <laughs> <laughs> she actually arranged for me to get the tickets and sent me on my way. Because she knows mm. she knows the score. She knows what's going Yeah. Up. The phone yeah. rang and said my lover. You were at the game. Dudes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Then by the way, they had a song the next year that's called uh, Return of the Quack, which you should check that out. It's a little, <laughs> a little better produced. Okay. Fallout Boy. Oh. You know why? Oh, because the NBA thing? No. Well, so when the Ducks were making their run oh. to the 2014 National Championship game that they lost to Ohio State. Bittersweet. Right. Sweet, bittersweet memories. Yeah. They kept playing that fucking song, Centuries. Yeah. And over Centuries. and over and over because it was part of like the promos for all that. Mm -hmm. And it, so that now I associate that with the Ducks losing the National Championship game. And the fact that Fallout Boy has sex balls. So it didn't help. It was a combo. Oh. So you're saying you don't like... Things that suck balls. No. Hmm. Guess you haven't <laughs> had your balls sucked. <laughs> uh, and finally, had to have some Blazers stuff on here. Trailblazers. Uh, yeah. So when they were making their runs, like in the early 90s, um, when they were, you know, were really good, they used to play during timeouts, like late in games, they would play Tom Petty's Running Down a Dream. Oh. So that always just puts me in that place whenever I hear that song. Right. And then the other one was they had a really terrible, they used to do these annual uh, songs where it was like the team participating in some bullshit song for the for the, the actual club, you know? Okay. So they had one called Bust a Bucket, and I highly recommend you go Looking look up, up Bust a Bucket Portland Trailblazers, and All you right. will be shocked at what you see. So I have <laughs> Sup With You, Sup with Duck you, girl. Quacks, Bu and Bust a Bucket. Yeah, you got it. All right. That's I would golden. say go back and listen to this episode if you forget, but you don't do that, so. No. Well, I'll just ask you. You'll just read the transcript. You just read the transcripts of all our shows. That's right? it. That's it. <laughs> what did I say there? I know. I got to start reading. I have to start because I'm coming up with some good stuff and I'm missing it. It's all right. <laughs> it's, it's all right. It's not that good. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> oh, shit. 
So thank you everybody for listening to our show. You can find us at reasonsaresuffer.com. I would mention that we're on like iTunes and Stitcher and you should go subscribe, but I was listening to the recent quadcast and he was like shitting all over people to do that. So sorry, Courtney, I won't say that anymore. <laughs> well, it is always funny because it's like you're already listening to the podcast. But maybe you heard it via Twitter or something else where you're not actually subscribed to it via Hey, take it app. up with Courtney, champ. I'm just telling you, Courtney. <laughs> I'm the moderator now, motherfucker. No. We're just going to battle each other Step in your, off. In your chats. Yeah, you'll be in there fighting with each other. <laughs> Everybody will leave because they're just sick of it. Who are these two fucking trolls? God damn it. Oh, that's great. God, your live shows suck because of those guys. Anyway, mm-hmm. you uh, can tweet at us at Reasons Are and at Angels Freak 7. You can email us Reasons Are Several at gmail.com. We'll be back next week. Lovely talking to you, Neil. It was good to see you, Nadia. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>